day two of vlogmas i'm currently on my way to work stopping to get my coffee late as hell per usual thank you thank you Sometimes I have to taste it because, child, I'll get all the way to work and then I realize that they didn't put no damn, uh, they didn't put enough cream or enough sugar or enough something in my drink. And then I'd be hot and be a be a b i t c h at work. Now, sometimes if we have a lot of nurses, I'll be able to take a little quick break and come back and get my coffee fix. But most times we're short. So I'll be stuck. Come on, honey. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how they do that little pay for the car behind you type of deal. I would do it, but the person behind me meal is thirteen dollars and nine cent. <laughs> no. Mine was only five dollars. Can't do it, bro. I know it's December. It is the season of giving, but I don't know you, man. He ain't driving a Benz. I'm just in the Sonata. You have a good day. You too. Happy holidays. Ooh. Let's check. Cause they like giving me plain cream cheese too. And that's exactly what they gave me. Play. See, this is fuck shit, Daddy. Hey, I want a strawberry. Can they start making it? I'm gonna come in. See, this is the fuck shit that had me super late to work. I'm already late. This is the type of shit that make me super late because just like I told y'all, let me check because sometimes they give me plain. I don't eat plain cream cheese. The shit tastes like goat. I don't even know how goat tastes, but I know it don't taste good. So let me go be nice. All right, so we got the bagel situation squared away. So now let's speed to work, cut people off in traffic because we on a mission. They can wait. They probably is just, let me just stop. All right, so on this little journey during December, I have a couple gifts I need to get. Of course, the basic family gifts and I am a late Christmas shopper. I know I love Christmas and all, but I don't be thinking about buying Christmas gifts early. Every year I say I'm gonna have my Christmas shopping done by July. And July comes and I'm not even thinking about Christmas shopping. But however, even though I'm waiting to the last minute, I'm only buying everybody one gift. Like one gift a piece. I already know what I'm gonna get my mom. I would say what I'm gonna get people but it's kind of hard to say what I'm gonna get people when I make my immediate family and friends watch my YouTube channel. So I can't tell them because they're gonna be watching my vlogmas and they're gonna know, so it's gonna ruin the surprise. So, however, my mom made a remark to me today, earlier, which already confirmed what I wanted to get her for her gift was a good gift. So, I'm not even gonna worry about it. Uh, so, I know her gift is good. The only person I'm really concerned about, disappointed, is Chastity. That's my oldest daughter. And I'm concerned about disappointing her because Chastity has this thing. We're working through it, but she has a thing where she doesn't really tell you how she feel. I've been asking her, what do you want for your Christmas? And she isn't really telling me. She's like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't thought about it. What were you gonna get me? I'm like, shit, 
I was just gonna get your ass what I was gonna get you. <laughs> like, that was that was 100% my response. And she know her mama, so she laughed. But she was just like, I mean, I don't know. But she turns around and tells my sister that she wants a fanny pack with lip gloss. Now, even though a fanny pack with lip gloss is nothing, However, I asked you what you wanted and you ain't tell me. So now I feel a type of way that you could tell her specifically what you want, but don't want to tell me what you want. Like, girl, I'm your mama. You're supposed to be able to tell me anything. So, you know, I'm working through this because she's getting to the page. She's 12 and a half. She's about to be 13. And, you know, they go through their little changes. She's in full-blown puberty going through the stuff. So she might, she might got trust issues with me. So, I can't tell y'all what I want to get her either because she watched my YouTube channel like for real, for real. My baby be supporting her mama. So, when you see this, this is how I feel. Okay. <sighs> you can tell your mama anything, baby. Because I know you're going to watch this. But, anyways. So yeah and then i have to get the girls on my job the cnas i work with i have to get them a gift because they really held me down all 2018 last year i was only at this job for only like four months so i ain't know them like that so i ain't really get them no good gifts because i didn't know if it was gonna be a real relationship but working with them for the last 12 months straight like we had some real good times. So, if y'all have any ideas, please drop a comment in the comment section and tell me or give me a suggestion on what I should get them. Now, they used to these old nurses, like old, literally like old in age, who money straight. So, they be getting them like gift cards and bath and body works. And sis, first of all, majority of the CNAs older than me so y'all been out here in these streets second of all no shade no shade no shade that's just the truth second of all since I'm in nursing school and the G gets all my money I just made up my school nickname the G so that's what we're gonna start calling it the G because they low-key gangsters because they be hustling me out my money and then they be like girl your clinical is at 6 30 you better be there at 6 30 and if you're a minute late and i'll be running i be like oh, oh, i gotta get the clinical on time oh, i'll be thinking i overslept day to g because if they be like testing 218 and when you show up the test really in 104 and you gotta be there on time it don't matter that they didn't give you a uh uh um ahead of a time to let you know that they changed the classes they don't care they just show up at 5 20 and tell you that the class is changing they just suspect you to be there even though you ain't supposed to be there 5 30 but they're gonna tell you at 5 20 and they don't care that you was in the wrong class girl straight up gangsters straight up gangsters now who the hell was that who just did this but anyways i feel like i'm rambling y'all and it's low-key y'all fault that I'm rambling because y'all only come to my channel for nursing and y'all don't really interact with me outside of nursing and I feel a type of way. And I can tell y'all that I feel a type of way because we communicate at this age. I'm 29. So at 29, we communicate. Even though some dude told me that Christian, you almost 30. You too old to be in your feelings. First of all, nigga. First of all, I ain't know that when you get to a certain age, you're not supposed to have feelings no more. That's first. Second of all, I've been knowing you for damn near my whole life. How you gonna tell me I'm not supposed to have feelings about you, boy? But, you know, see, these these men ain't shit. But don't you worry. Because in 2019, I ain't gonna know the motherfucker. Dead part. Anyways, y'all. It's been a good ride to work. I'm gonna probably edit a lot of this out. Because I did ramble. But I made it to work. 
monkey in the nursing home. You can't go nowhere without it. Matter of fact, I'm going to get to because it's Saturday. I'm liable to lose one. My little hair going on a month old. It's holding on to Alright, y'all. Be blessed. Oh, 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 oh.